Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Of Course, None Other Than Your Girl Cooking with Tammy. Today I'm going to show you how I make my delicious creamy Tuscan chicken. When I tell you this recipe right here, it's so delicious, decadent, nice and creamy. I mean, I could go on for hours, but you know something? I'm just going to wrap it on up. This recipe right here, guys, is absolutely delicious and most importantly, quick and easy to put together and very impressive. So with all of that being said, let's head on over to the kitchen and get this video started. For this recipe, I used two chicken breasts, but I sliced it in half and bam, now we have four. So all you're gonna need for this recipe is two chicken breasts sliced in half. We're also gonna be using heavy cream as well as butter, sun-dried tomatoes. Get the sun-dried tomatoes that's infused in oil and herbs and spices. Ground black pepper, salt, finely chopped garlic, onion powder, garlic powder, white wine however if you don't do white wine feel free to use chicken broth we also have some dried italian seasoning spinach as well as parmesan cheese with all of that being said let's get to cooking we're going to start with drizzling some oil onto our chicken breast simply because when it comes to massaging in that dry rub it helps it to spread onto the chicken so much easier since i have more than enough oil i'm going to take my hands and Put it on the back of the chicken as well without trying to drop it. As you can see, I already dropped the chicken. But anyway, we're going to put it back into the plate. Spread that oil onto the chicken, both front and back. Because why? We're going to be seasoning both sides. Yes, we are. And because your girl is triple gloved, I'm going to take off the first set of gloves because I'm about to touch my seasoning bottles. And we're not trying to get the seasoning bottles all messed up, right? <laughs> We're also going to go in there and we're going to hit it off with some salt, not too much, but enough, as well as freshly cracked ground black pepper. As you can see, I missed a little spot, so we're going to add a tad bit more, along with our onion powder, just a little bit, not too much. We're not going to get carried away with the seasonings. After we add our onion powder, we're going to also add some garlic powder. Yes, I know we're using finely chopped garlic as well, but that's going to be for the saucy sauce. So we're going to add just a little bit of garlic powder to the chicken for that extra flavor. Once we're done, we're going to take our trusty hands and pat that seasoning on in. Pat it in, pat it in. Once you're done, you're going to flip it on over. Repeat the same process, add that seasoning. We're gonna start off with adding our salt, freshly cracked ground black pepper once again. It's important when you are working with any type of food, meat, it doesn't matter. Wash your hands off or wash the containers that you're using off. And remember what I said, don't add too much. We're also gonna add our onion powder along with our garlic powder. Get those hands in motion once again. Get to patting, get to patting. Tap that seasoning on in there. Make sure everything is well seasoned. All right, now that our chicken is perfectly seasoned, I am gonna take my chicken pieces and dredge it in all-purpose flour. Lightly, that is. We're not gonna dredge it. With a heavy coating of flour, it's so not necessary. Gonna place it to the side right there. Add the second piece, repeat the same process. Of course, if you don't want to add flour, because this recipe is so universal, you can go ahead and sear your chicken with a little olive oil or a little avocado oil and you will be good to go. However, I decided to add some all-purpose flour, all right? So that's how we going to do it. <laughs> but nevertheless, you have the option. While we were doing what we were doing, the skillet was on low heat. So by the time I'm ready to put that oil in there, guess what? We don't have to wait. Everything is nice and hot, ready to go. Even though I'm using a large size pan, I'm only going to add two chicken breasts because I don't want to overcrowd the pan. Go in there and we're going to flip it on over. Allow it to do the same thing on the other side as well. And guess what? We are all done. All four pieces are perfectly fried up. We're going to take it out place it onto a nice clean plate. However, we're not gonna use any paper towel. Why are we not using any paper towel? Because I want all of those natural juices 
to literally, once it starts to drain from the chicken, we're gonna take it and we're gonna add it to that sauce for that extra complimentary flavor, right? Our chicken is perfect. Oh my goodness, I am ready to dig in at this point. But you know something, we're gonna wait. We're gonna make our saucy sauce. Now that all of the chicken is out of the pan, what you can do is, because we use flour, you may have like a lot of little bits in the pan, we don't want the burn bits because, you know, we want a nice, creamy, decadent, flavorful sauce. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a paper towel and we're just going to wipe the pan out just a tad bit to remove some of that excess burn or charred pieces, if there is any, because we're going to be using the same pan nevertheless. So to this pan, what we're going to do is we're going to add some butter. Pan is still nice and hot, so the butter is melting really quickly. Perfect. Give it a quick stir. Make sure everything is nice and melted before we add our finely chopped garlic. Right now, our flame is on low, medium, because garlic does tend to burn easily. We want to allow the garlic to become nice and fragrant. Once the garlic becomes fragrant, then we're gonna, you know, move on to the next step. After about 30 seconds to a minute, as you can see, our garlic is not only fragrant, but it's slightly toasted, which is perfect. We're gonna go in there, we're gonna add that white wine. Once again, if you're not rocking with the white wine, no problem, you're gonna add chicken broth. Stir it on up. We have our bubble action taking place. We're gonna hit it off with that heavy cream. If you don't wanna use heavy cream, you can always use half and half, but me, I like to go the full distance. I love to use heavy cream. To me, it's just so much more creamier and so much more decadent. Stir it on up, combine everything. We're combining the garlic, the white wine, as well as the butter and all of those wonderful flavors. We're gonna add our Parmesan cheese while continuously stirring. Yes, because we want that nice creamy effect. After adding that cheese, you're gonna realize that the sauce is gonna start to thicken up and that just means, guess what? We are in business, all right? Now that our saucy sauce is where it needs to be, we're gonna add our sun-dried tomatoes. Yes, we are, add those sun-dried tomatoes. Don't be afraid, add maybe five, add maybe 10. They taste so delicious and they're so complimentary. Allow the flavors from the tomatoes to infuse into the sauce. And at this point in time, you're gonna add your spinach. Yes, I know you see me adding the chicken, but you're not gonna do what I'm doing right now. You're gonna add the spinach. It's gonna make it much easier for you to maneuver, trust me. Add the spinach, and after you add the spinach, and once it starts to break down, then we're gonna add our chicken. Remember I told you when you took the chicken out not to use a paper towel? This is the reason why. We're gonna add all of those juices from the chicken back into the saucy sauce. And as you can see, what I'm doing is I'm gonna add the spinach on top. It's gonna break down nevertheless, but it's so much easier, once again, for you in your kitchen to add the spinach before adding the chicken. After we add the spinach, we're gonna cover it on down. And once the spinach is broken down, this is what we're gonna have. Our delicious, creamy Tuscan chicken. OMG, when I tell you what? This recipe right here is everything. It is so delicious and the great part about it is you can make this within like 20 to 30 minutes. And trust me, anybody eating this recipe is gonna think that you literally spent a lifetime in the kitchen putting this together. It's just so amazing, so comforting, so delicious. To top it off, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some of that dried Italian seasoning just to give it that extra flavor because it has the little marjoram in there as well as the parsley and everything else as well as basil. And trust me, when it ties together, it ties together. Paired with fettuccine, amazing. Anyway, guys, with all of that being said, I'm your girl cooking with Tammy. Definitely give this recipe a try. Hit me up in the comment section as always. Let me know how everything turned out. And I will catch you guys in another video. Talk to you later. Bye, guys.